Hey guys, I'm Mike, and this is my quick reference guide for blending modes for Photoshop and Manga Studio. We are on the subtract mode. I have a scan of a Thanos commission here, and before anybody comments, I understand that uh, the Infinity Stones are out of order. At least that's been brought to my attention. Don't know if it's 100% true, but I've been told that, so don't repeat it. Um, you, you freaking super nerds. <laughs> Anyways, uh, subtract. What does it do? Um, I, th I think that people try and mess around with this one and it behaves so bizarrely that they just give up even though it's pretty simple. So, um, and it's, it's really useful. It's a good, it's a good tool. So subtract, it takes the RGB values of the set layer. That is to say this layer that we have sitting on top. I'll, I'll raise the opacity. I was playing with it a little bit. Um, and it, it combines them with, with the layer below. So what you're going to see is the layer is going to get darker. It's a, it's a rendering, a, a shadow tool, I guess. Uh, I think that's probably what it was intended for. You can use it for all sorts of things, though. And uh, the colors are darker, and you're gonna you're gonna get a, a bit of a color shift. So it works kind of like multiply. Like since there's a calculation, you can you, you'll get to preserve a lot of the a lot of the shape that's below. Um, so easiest way to remember subtract is that it's just do the opposite. For example, if I fill this layer with black, nothing happens. If I fill it with white completely black. Same thing goes for color. If I fill it with blue, uh, whoops. If I fill it with blue, it's yellow. That probably confused you. Fill it with green, it's red. So as you can see, it's just the opposite. Wherever you are, since it's, it's, a, it's a straight subtraction, it's going to go to the exact opposite end of the color wheel. So we're going to be here. One more example, if you're in purple, probably be limey green. So, um, how do we use this thing, right? Well, uh, I'm going to use just a generic soft airbrush just to make big, you know, I, I necessarily wouldn't recommend using an airbrush for, for very many things, but remember the darker that we are, the, the, the less intense the effect. So let's just say we want to we wanna render with this thing. We want to really put in some... We want to intensify these shadows on on Thanos. We can do that pretty easily. Uh, we can bring this up just slightly and really darken that far point of his face if we wanted to. Um, we can even go right over his eyes and then go super super black and and bring our uh, whoops, bring our brush size down and maybe lighten these things up. If we were so inclined. So it's just a really it's a really interesting rendering tool. It behaves differently than than multiply, but sort of in the same family um, we can see that when the pixels are really really light and you you have I mean this is a, a middle value it still gets very very dark very fast but it still mean it darkens all the pixels underneath so you're preserving the ratio between them but the more you compress them together and the darker you get like if you get up here it will just be black so um, it's a it's a really useful tool and simple to understand uh, but it's not intuitive when you when you first click on it and you, you you get some wild green color that you didn't attend it's just like all right let's move on to a new mode and you can use them for effects like overlay modes if you're just going to you know fill in with a color like this and then uh, if you want to darken and uh, and add a, add a little overlay to try and tie the image together, something like that. Um, maybe you could even go a little bit darker and really bring that yellow out uh, of what I think is I, I meant as an explosion or something, some type of end of the world scenario. Because he has all the stones. I really hope that they they use the com. I'm uh, spoiler alert. I'm not I'm not going to say what the comic book ending to the Infinity War. Uh, the Infinity Stone story storyline was, even if it is like 20 years old. But I hope they use it in the movies. It would be really, it would be fun to see the audience freak out. I think. So.
uh, that is subtract. That's some of the ways that I would use subtract. But all these one modes, there's an infinite way. That's my dog scratching himself and not me scratching myself. Hey, could you stop for a second? I'm trying to do something. He's dumb. <laughs> so uh, anyways, please check out all my other videos on blending modes. There's one for all of them, all like 20 of them or whatever. Like and subscribe. If you have a comment, uh, please let me know what other uh, questions you have about uh, blending modes or you know anything in Photoshop. I'd be happy to make a video response if there's not some content out there already explaining it. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.